What's up everybody, Stone from Stick on the Ice here and welcome back to another video. Today I've replaced every NHL team with their alumni version and we're going to see what happens to the NHL. Now quickly, I'm going to go through every team so we know what each roster is comprised of, but if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for daily NHL 22 content and turn on the bell so you can be notified of when I upload. The Arizona Coyotes are no longer a complete dumpster fire, they've got themselves a bit of talent in Jeremy Roenick and Curtis Joseph who's in between the pipes. Team Mussolini is hoping to get the Anaheim Ducks back to their Stanley Cup form with the help of Scott Niedermann and John Sebastian Chaguer. The Bruins are looking a lot different with other big three in Pasta, Bergeron, and Marchand. On the alumni team, the Bruins are going to have to rely on Ray Bork to lead the way. Buffalo is looking like a completely new team, but that's because they are a new team, with Dale Howardchuk leading the offense with Phil Housley leading the defense. Ron Brindamore has moved from head coach to first line center for the Carolina Hurricanes. Meanwhile, on the D-line, Paul Coffey is going to be leading the way. Outside of Rick Nash and Adam Foote, the Columbus Blue Jackets are looking like a below average team. I'm expecting them to finish in the bottom half of the league for sure. Calgary's got themselves a deadly first line of Doug Gilmore, Theo Fleury, and Jerome McGinley. And the forwards aren't the only strong ones on the team, as Phil Helsley and Al McGinnis are manning the defense with Mike Vernon in net. The Blackhawks are easily looking like the best team so far. With the forward core of Dennis Savard and the defense led by Phil Helsley and Glenn Hall in net, I'm expecting this is going to be the team to beat. Speaking of teams to beat, the Colorado Avalanche are also one of those teams with very few weaknesses and a superstar goalie in Patrick Waugh. Another team that has themselves a fantastic goalie is the Dallas stars who have Ed Balfour. They also have a superstar forward in Mike Madonna and a terrific defenseman in Sergei Gonchar. Detroit has too many superstars to name the ball, but I'll give props to a few guys like Steve Eiserman, Gordie Howe, Nick Lindstrom, and Terry Sawchuk. This might be the best team in the NHL. The Oilers might have lost Connor McDavid and Leon Draisaitl, but they got these guys by the names of Wayne Gretzky and Mark Messier. Not too sure if they're any good though, so I guess I'll have to wait and see. The Florida Panthers might be the only team that I think became worse from their alumni team. In a seven game series, I'm taking the current Florida Panthers over this team. Like this team is not very good. How is this their alumni team? Since the Seattle Kraken and Vegas Golden Knights don't have alumni teams, I decided to replace both of these teams with the Hartford Whalers and the Quebec Nordiques. Wayne Gretzky's made making his second appearance today through the Los Angeles Kings, and alongside Wayne Gretzky is superstar Yari Curry and Larry Robinson, who's manning the D. The Minnesota Wild have by far the most active NHL players on their alumni team, with Mikel Granlin, Charlie Coyle, and Cal Clutterbuck, just to name a few. The most successful franchise in NHL history is bringing everyone back in order to break some records. I don't need to name anyone. You can see the guys on this team. I'm expecting them to do big things. The New Jersey Devils are getting rid of all their young guns, and they're replacing them with NHL stars and Peter Stastny, Scott Niedermeyer, and possibly the greatest goalie of all time in Martin Brodeur. Nashville has a big surprise on their team, and that big surprise is who their starting goalie is. It's UC Soros. Yeah, you heard me right. EA has UC Soros being the starting goalie on Nashville's alumni team. Leading the forward for the New York Islanders is going to be Pat Lafontaine, and leading the defense is going to be Dennis Pottenville and Westfall on the top D-line. And they also got a great goaltender in Billy Smith in net. Wayne Gretzky is going to be making his third appearance today, but he isn't alone. The New York Rangers are also bringing in Mark Messier, Brian Leach, and Mike Richter. Ottawa is just straight garbage. I can't express how bad this team actually is. Mike Fisher is their best forward at an 84 overall. The defense isn't bad with Sergei Gonchar at an 89 overall, but I'm not even going to acknowledge the goaltending. It's absolutely terrible. Philly is the complete opposite of Ottawa, with 92 overall Eric Lindros leading the team with the help of Chris Pronger on the defense and Bernie Perrin in net. Another team that's the complete opposite of Ottawa is the Pittsburgh Penguins, who are led by Penguins legend Mario Lemieux, and not only are the forwards amazing, but the defense is also fantastic. As I said earlier, the Seattle Kraken and the Vegas Golden Knights don't have alumni teams, so I decided to replace both teams with the Hartford Whalers and the Quebec Nordiques. San Jose is going to be led by Jeremy Roenick and Timu Solani on the front end. On the back end, they got Gary Sutton and Rob Blake carrying the defense with the help of Mike Vernon in net. Gretzky's making his fourth and final team in St. Louis, where he's joining Brett Hall, Bernie Federico, Chris Pronger, and in between the pipes is our guy, Grant Fuhr. Tampa's hoping to stay in the Stanley Cup contention after losing their team that just won two straight cups, and I think they'll be able to do that with the help of Dennis Savard, Martin St. Louis, and Brad Richards. Since the current Leafs can't get out of the first round, it's time to bring in all the legends to see if that will help. Leading the Leafs is going to be 91 overall Matt Sedin with Johnny Bauer in net. Vancouver might be on a hot streak right now, but that doesn't mean anything. We're bringing in the alumni team with the hopes that Henrik and Daniel Sedin can get this team to a cup. We're down to our final two teams. Winnipeg is going to be led by Dale Howardchuk and Team Mussolini on the top forward line, and leading the defense is going to be Sergei Savard and Phil Housley. And Washington is going to be led by Mike Gartner and Sergei Gonchar. Now that we know what every team's comprised of, comment down below who's going to win the Stanley Cup. When the season came to an end, the Detroit Red Wings are at the 
the top of the league with a 55, 15, and 12 record. Coming in second to the Pittsburgh Penguins with a 56, 24, and 2 record. And rounding out the top three is going to be the Montreal Canadiens with a 51, 26, and 5 record. Leading the league in scoring is LA's Wayne Gretzky with 46 goals and 55 assists for 101 points. And second is Edmonton's Wayne Gretzky with 96 points. And third is Wayne Gretzky again with 94 points. And in fourth place, you'll never guess who is here, but it's Wayne Gretzky with 93 points. Yeah, I think this guy's pretty good. So here we are. This is what the playoff picture is looking like. Obviously, there's a ton of great teams here, but I think the Detroit Red Wings are going to come out on top. When the playoffs came to an end, the Oilers are coming out on top as Stanley Cup champions with Grant Fuhrer leading the way. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely recommend checking the one out on screen. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe.